Today is Monday, January 8th, 2024. I received this word yesterday. I apologize that I can't tell you what time. Uh, the Lord did say to me that he wants this titled Idle Words in the Church. Uh, as always, we are to test every spirit. You're not to take my word for it or anyone else's. You're to go back to the Lord in your own personal prayer time and ask him yourself to confirm or deny the words that were spoken today, either in your prayer time or as you're meditating on his word, which we're told to do day and night. Before I continue, uh, the Lord wanted me to read just this one verse from Proverbs 21, 23. Whoever guards his mouth and tongue keeps his soul from troubles. This is what the Lord said. The tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. The power of life and death is in it. Be not hasty with your words. Hold your tongue. Put a guard on your mouth. Your much speaking that started as a spark is now a blazing inferno. Such idle words you speak. Where is your fear of me? That you would aim your words like daggers against my anointed. You've already said too much. You will be held accountable for every one. You are responsible for what comes out of your mouth. You are responsible for guarding your heart with all diligence. You are sowing discord and division and blaming others for the bitter seeds you planted. Satan is the accuser of the brethren. There is nothing new under the sun. He has been causing people to doubt and second guess my words since the garden. Because he knows doubt and unbelief are the opposite of faith, and without faith it's impossible to please me. A prayer spoken without faith is an unanswered one. How quick you are to make conclusions without consulting me, to pass judgment without taking the board out of your own eye, with your downcast eyes. There will be no haughtiness on my holy mountain. You have begun confessing, confusing, sorry, your distrust, weariness, skepticism, and suspicion as discernment, allowing your flesh to lead you instead of my spirit. Do you know better than me who are mine? Do I need to answer to you before I send someone? Is it their fault that you do not heed my warnings? Who are you accusing? You will answer to me for your words. You will answer to me for the seeds of gossip that have now spread around the church like a brush fire. You are bearing false witness against your brother. I will show you your error. You have cast out from among you those I sent. You have looked upon them with eyes of scrutiny accused them of falsehood you have sown confusion in their hearts and deep sorrow is this your church or mine will you silence my prophets or do you not realize that you have kept back the word of the lord it is i who have spoken but you have taken offense without cause Jealousy and envy live in your hearts, which causes you to find fault with those I have set apart for a time such as this. The separation has begun and will continue. I will expose those who honor me with their lips, but not their lifestyle, their conduct, their attitudes, or how they carry themselves. My true disciples will come forth as gold. I will shake the dross out of my churches, out of your hearts, judgment, has begun at my house. Repent of your idle speech and be mindful of the things you say. He who sows destruction will reap the same, and I am not partial. Whatever you sow, that you whatsoever you sow, that you shall reap. He wants me to share 